Tired of yet another video ranking the latest AI hype? Yeah, me too. We're drowning in AI updates. Every week there's some shiny new AI tool promised to change everything. Today, I'm cutting through the noise and showing you the few AI tools worth your time and a system to navigate them. Whether you're hunting for the ultimate tool, an AI gig, a business idea, or just figuring out where to start, this is for you. If you are new here, I'm David, millionaire investor, ex-Silicon Valley machine learning engineer, and your no-nonsense AI guide. In the next 15 minutes, I'll drag you through the AI jungle, classify, and rank the tools so you can spot the signal, skip the noise, and save hours sifting through the AI trash heap. Let's kick off with the OG category, AI chatbots. This all started when OpenAI dropped ChatGPT in November 2022. Now it's a total cage match. OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini DeepSeek, Claude from Anthropic, Grok by XAI, and quite a few others. Confused about which model or version to use? You're not alone. To cut through the noise, start with model rankings. The chatbot arena leaderboard is a solid start, but don't get attached to who's number one. These rankings flip faster than a TikTok trend. One week it's ChatGPT4, next week it's a juiced up Grok, then Gemini Pro 2.5 struts in. Honestly, I'm tired of the weekly who's number one hype train. You see, every month or so, one of these big dogs drops a shiny new version to flex on the others. It's an endless arms race they can't escape. Why? Because us regular folks are shelling out for just one subscription and we're not settling for second best. So now it's a constant deathmatch to win your $20 and your data too. Man, this is way different from when Google just steamrolled web search and called it a day. And guess what? We're the real winners here. We're getting faster, smarter models by the week and for not very much. Now, still wondering which chatbot to use? Here's my no BS advice. First, chill. It barely matters which. Even the number four model today could wipe the floor with the top dog from six months ago. These things are scary good now. Second, once in a while, peek at the top five on a legit leaderboard like Chatbot Arena or Seal. You can just spin a wheel and pick any from the top five. You'll be fine. Third, ask yourself which tasks you grind the most or need to absolutely nail, whether it's coding, research, or writing. Coding your thing? Check out some coding model rankings, like Pro LLM. Then grab one near the top, dive in, and every now and then pit its output against another tool's. All right, time to evaluate the whole category. I'm giving AI chatbots a 10 out of 10 return on investment score. These tools are no-brainers. Just don't overthink it. Pick a chatbot. Write some good prompts. You're already winning. This next category overlaps a lot with AI chatbots, but seriously, it's a game changer. I'm talking about AI research tools, covering everything from quick fact checks to in-depth market breakdowns and scientific deep dives. High quality research capabilities are so important that ChatGPT and Gemini had to roll out their deep research features. Plus, they couldn't just let perplexity dominate the real-time research game. For a while, Perplexity had the upper hand since ChatGPT and Gemini pre-trained models were limited by their training data, which can be outdated by a year. But not anymore. With new reasoning capabilities, ChatGPT and Gemini Deep Research can now surf the web live and whip up insights on the spot. Fair warning though, it costs more time and money. For instance, I ran this real estate market analysis on ChatGPT Deep Research, and it ran for 17 minutes, sifted through a mountain of sources, and cranked out this monster 20-page analysis. Other than the above general research options, it's worth mentioning some specialized research tools. For academic deep dives, Elicit.com is quite impressive. Check out this report. It pulled together a bunch of academic papers to review how Myers-Briggs personality types relate to workplace performance. For nailing consumer and market trends, move beyond Google Trends and check out exploding topics. It's like having a crystal ball, spotting trends before they blow up, which is gold for entrepreneurs, investors, and content creators. Honestly, it even feels a bit like cheating. Bottom line, the return on investment here is huge, 9 out of 10. You're getting massive value for next to nothing. Well, unless you do a shit ton of deep research, which requires pro membership. The big boy showdown between Google, OpenAI, and others means we get these insanely powerful tools for pocket change. So, to my audience, promise me this. 
No more doing lousy research and don't overpay for mediocre help again. All right, folks, we need to talk about AI agents. And look, I'd love to call BS on a hype, but this time it's real. This could be huge. And most people either don't really get what AI agents are or they're sleeping on how wild this is about to get. So what's an AI agent? Imagine a super smart personal assistant that is not, you know, human. It's an AI system that can handle tasks for you on its own. And no, you don't need to babysit it with a dozen prompts. You give it a job, like book me a trip to Paris, and it figures out the subtasks, decides the order, picks the tools, and gets it done. It scopes flights, hunts hotels, grabs your payment info, scores Eiffel Tower tickets, books everything, then bam, drops it all into your Google Calendar. You just pack your bags. While we're at it, let's clear up the difference between AI agents and tools like Zapier or N8N. They are workflow automation tools. With those, you spell out every step, what to do, which tools to use, and in what order. Like check Gmail, then snag certain emails, then ping ChatGPT for a summary, then log the notes into Notion. That's not an AI agent. That's just an automated AI workflow with an AI node. It still can't choose its own tools or figure out the task order. That said, these tools are still super useful, plus they have mature, reliable tech. Even better, N8N is starting to include real AI agent capabilities. For example, its tool agent node can decide which tools to use and when, like a true agent. Meanwhile, the AI big dogs are in an all-out sprint. OpenAI launched an agent's SDK to help you build your own. Claude's playing with features like computer use and tool use. Google got the Vertex AI Agents Builder, and this is just the beginning. Want to dip your toes in? Write a quick Python script to call OpenAI's API to use tools and automate some boring tasks. Or go even easier, build a no-code agent in N8N to help manage your inbox. If it's not obvious yet, AI agents are the closest we've come to replacing a human knowledge worker. That's huge. Brutal for the workforce, but a straight-up goldmine for startups and tech hustlers. Not building agents yourself? Don't sweat it. Ready-made ones are already out there, and way more are on the way. When it comes to ROI, I'm giving AI agents a solid 9 out of 10. The upside is insane. There's a learning curve, but no-code tools are making it easier than ever. Buckle up. This ride's only getting started. All right, next up, productivity tools. Think to is for simple to-do lists, Motion and Reclaim AI for task management and scheduling, and Notion for, well, everything. Here's the deal though. Don't get too hyped about the AI in these tools. Notion's a beast because it's super versatile and flexible, not because it can use AI to summarize your grocery list. That said, I love productivity tools and I like to mix and match, but we'll save that rabbit hole for another day. Bottom line? Productivity tools score a solid 8 out of 10 on ROI. Nail the fancy ones like Notion, and you might even snag a tech consulting gig. Don't overhype the AI though. It's usually just frosting on the cake. The next important category is AI coding tools. Think you can ignore them because you don't code? Think again. You're leaving money and opportunities on the table. Tools like GitHub Copilot, ChatGPT, Claude, Cursor, and Tab9 aren't just fancy helpers, they're completely changing the game. First off, for software engineers, these tools are a total no-brainer. We're already hearing stories of companies preferring candidates with experience using GitHub Copilot or Cursor. In fact, get this, it's becoming more common to see developer jobs that don't even require a college degree, since AI tools are leveling the playing field. I bet some are thanking AI for finally justifying those skipped classes. Now, even if you're not into coding, listen up, seriously, reconsider. I get it. Coding and debugging can be a pain in the butt, and sometimes it makes me question my existence too. But most folks are underestimating the potential here. To get started, first learn to enhance your own life with code. Imagine ChatGPT writing Python scripts to scrape news sites, manage your messy inbox, or perform algorithmic stock trading. Honestly, my homemade scripts are way more useful than features in Gmail and investment apps, and the best part? You can even monetize your automation scripts on platforms like Gumroad, Etsy, or Fiverr. 
To be fair, no-code AI agents using Zapier or N8N can also handle simple automations like basic web scraping, email management, or social media scheduling. But doing it with codes gives you higher control, higher flexibility, and with AI assistance, it's never been easier. Now, here's where coding really reigns supreme. Building apps and software as a service, or SaaS. You can use Cursor AI to write foundation codes, then ChatGPT or Claude to debug and customize your code base. You can even start easy by building mini apps on no-code platforms like Bubble or Glide, then supercharge them with AI-generated codes. Think mini games, dating app chatbots, habit trackers, subscription trackers, personal planners, the options are endless. To conclude, the potential ROI here is massive, a solid nine out of 10 with huge upside. But I should warn you, there is a learning curve and the codes ChatGPT or Claude give you will rarely work right away. You'll have to debug, install dependencies, set up authentications, and so on. But the skills and knowledge you gain will pay enormous dividends and set you apart. And if there's ever a time to build digital products with little effort and huge potential return, that time is now. This next category packs some serious potential. AI analytics tools let you whip up killer data reports with simple text prompts. No SQL codes, no messy data cleanup, and no crying at midnight over spreadsheets. The big players here are Tableau, Power BI with Copilot, and Looker Studio. First of all, corporate jobs for Tableau developers, analysts, and trainers, as well as data analysts and analytics data scientists, are not only well paid, but in high demand. For freelancers, consider building and selling AI-powered dashboard templates on platforms like Gumroad, Envato, or Etsy. Imagine personalized dashboards that track everything from spending habits and stock investments to YouTube and social media growth. You can also offer freelance analytics consulting on Upwork or LinkedIn or teach your skills on Upskill and Udemy. To wrap up, AI analytics skills are niche enough to help you stand out. There is a learning curve, but the return on investment is solid. I'd rate it a seven out of 10. Not essential, but these skills unlock some seriously good opportunities. This next category has had some mind-blowing breakthroughs recently. I'm talking about AI videos and voices. Sora and VO2 dominate video creation. Eleven Labs has your back for voice generation, while Dali and Midjourney are your go-tos for text to image. For editing, use Premiere Pro and CapCut for videos and Photoshop or Canva for images. These tools are total game changers for content creators, marketers, designers, digital artists, and video editors, and educators too. You can now whip up stunning teaching visuals in seconds just from a few text prompts. I'm giving these a solid seven out of 10 return on investment. Even if you're not a content creator, you can boost your communication game with these tools. Sprinkle in some AI generated images to spice up those boring chats and presentations and start playing around with beginner friendly tools like Canva and CapCut. Who knows, you might just land a sweet freelance gig designing or editing videos. That said, I'm gonna be tough here and put them in the non-essential category. This next category, marketing, got a huge boost from AI. Two standout tools here are Jasper AI and Surfer SEO. These tools cover all your marketing content, blog posts, social media, product descriptions, ad copies, and of course, optimize them for search. Plus, they keep your brand voice consistent. And sure, you could stick with a general AI chatbot, but these specialized tools are fine-tuned and designed for marketing use cases, so they should give better results and require less prompting. If you're a marketer, these tools are a no-brainer. For small business owners and content creators, they might be worth a shot. They're easy to pick up, and you'll learn a ton about digital marketing in the process. Overall, I'd give these AI marketing tools a 5 out of 10. Nice to have, but not essential for the average person. All right, speed round. More killer AI tools you should know. Hey Jen and Synthesia turn your script into a talking avatar, perfect for training videos and sales pitches. Fathom and Yoda transcribe your meetings, summarize them, and even hand you the action items. And making music's not just for pros anymore. Suno and Ava let anyone drop a banger. Finally, in education, Conmigo, Quizlet AI, and Duolingo Max are flipping the script on how we learn. 
And there you have it, all the key AI tool categories ranked without the hype. If this video lit a spark, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Want more tips to thrive in the AI age? Check out my other video over here. What's your go-to AI tool already? Got other tools or categories to share? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. Thanks for hanging out. Go slay it out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.